All right, guys, in this video, we're going to build the Lowe's Bluetooth Reaper, and we're also going to convert him over to a member of the band Ghost as a nameless ghoul. Let's go. All right, guys, and as usual, what do they, what do they got to do, Mikey? Don't forget to like and subscribe. Awesome. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, so what we're doing today is we're going to accomplish a couple of things. We're going to build the Bluetooth Reaper with a guitar. Uh, I said in my original Lowe's 2023 leak video, I said that we would most likely pick him up. We got a little bit of a toss-up with the Costco Punk Rocker, but ultimately decided uh, with the Bluetooth capability, this was the way to go. Uh, but then just kind of as an added bonus, I think it was actually Mikey's idea. We kind of decided to, um, since the, my favorite band is Ghost, we're going to go see them later this week. We decided we're going to make him a nameless ghoul, which will be one of the guitarists. So just a warning, we ain't wicked makers, uh, but we're going to do our best today. All right, and of course, step one, Mikey, let's get him out of his box. So already I can see his head inside. That's the arm over here. And oh yes, our favorite. Uh, usually it's zip ties. These are like these metal ties. So we're gonna look like we're gonna have, either have to sit here and untie those or we're gonna have to cut them. Cut them will be the easiest. And literally everything is tied down. So let's try to get this whole thing out. I see the instructions are taped to the top of the box. So let's go ahead and get that off of here. All right, let's go ahead and pull this guy out of the pan. All right, let's try take two. Let's get them out sideways. There we go. That was a lot easier. So this is what you get when you get the box open. You can see his guitar over there. Right, let me go ahead and grab some scissors, and we'll get this guy cut out. One eternity later. All right, guys, so we're going to do a little overview of what was in the box. This actually seems like one of the most easy animatronics uh, to build. So, uh, of course, we have his head and then his, like, cloak. Everything there is all together, not really much to do. We, of course, have a bass. We do have the band for his waist. We, of course, have his guitar and hands that will be connected at the end. Um, this Try Me pad, we actually are going to add that. We're going to have to add that because when we put on the ghost mask, it's going to cover up his sensor, which is on his nose. So we actually grab that out of one of our other animatronics. Really just some A, B, and C poles should be pretty simple. And then finally, uh, with his control box, we have this piece here. So we're going to go ahead and get them started and let's start building them. All right, guys, so just an update. So there actually are no instructions. Uh, this is actually instructions really just kind of setting up his controls for the in-store setup. Um, there are no instructions. However, um, everything does seem to be labeled. So we're just going to we're just going to wing it. All right, so we're going to start out with his base. Of course, we need to connect the A poles. So Mikey, there's your A. Here is mine. We're going to go ahead and work those down. Snap those into place. All right. There goes A to A. So now we have our B. Pretty self-explanatory so far. I definitely would feel sorry for someone who didn't have any experience with this. I could see them having an absolute heart attack over this. B to B. And now we need C to C. And that's when we kind of get this piece here. It's going to be around his waist. Pretty cool though. I do wish every animatronic was this easy. I feel like we're going to have this thing built in like three minutes. All right, so next we're going to grab his waist. Again, nice and easy color coded here. We're going to connect blue to blue, yellow to yellow for his waist. See, obviously we just have wires. And after that, I mean, we really just have really the outer part, like his upper part and his bottom. So let's go ahead and get his top and we're going to connect that all right so to get inside of here i actually had to get mikey and put him in hey buddy now it should be some styrofoam to probably go over these working parts yep so we're going to go ahead and get the styrofoam and work it over this pole a few minutes later all right so that was definitely an adventure there so we've got inside you see this post it actually has the two d's so just like the rest of it you actually have to kind of go in to find everything 
and this plastic does not go down uh it's not as forgiving as typical metal to metal and you'll snap it and then you can see where it's attached and if you want to disconnect it later on you'll just do that so now we're just going to kind of get his wires together so if you want to kind of help me mikey so we have j i two j's these two can go together okay so we got the two j's together got those snapped and ready to go now we have an i here and i see something just underneath just out of my peripheral. Unfortunately, I saw that saved us some time. Here we are eye to eye. Got those connected. All right, so just an update. So we got all the wiring connected while we had his head off. We went ahead and connected his AC adapter. We did uh, pull that uh, try me button from another device. Like I said, it's a little short. We're probably gonna run that out outside of his guitar so we can kind of reach around it. Um, there is an output here. That output, uh, Mikey pointed out, is to connect the drummer to put them together. Uh, we're going to mess around with these buttons a little bit. I, I know there can be some uh, confusion, but at this point, uh, we're just going to test them out as the Reaper to make sure we're good before we really uh, start to get into it. We're more than likely going to leave them in that demo mode so we don't get hit with copyright on this. We'll do some more copywritten stuff on the, uh, on the YouTube short section. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and attach his guitar real quick. I know so we're going to do some demos, but I was just kidding. So we're going to connect E to E, which will be right here at his, like, stomach line. There's a hole already fit in his outfit for that. All right, these plastic to plastic are not the best things to connect. They're actually kind of frustrating, to be honest. So now we're going to connect H to H here. That one was actually pretty easy. Does not have the uh, step, the uh, connecting like metal like lock in place here. And now we're gonna do G to G. Or actually, we're gonna do F to F over here. While connecting F to F, this is a little bit of a different, it's like a big rectangle here. So we're just gonna press that in if you wanna go ahead and give it a good squeeze, Mikey. I believe it should snap, but I've not heard any snaps. All right, now with that being said, we're gonna follow that up. This one actually does have the locking piece. I'm guessing it's just missing on the other one. There we go. So now that that's in, now we're actually had to take this out in order to get it put back in. So let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and press this again. Mike. There you go. And there he is the reaper you ready to to give him his first practice here let me take a look at those eyeballs before we demo them so his eyeballs are going to be sealed something like this which looks really awesome all right let's demo them like this first and then we'll go ahead and start making the transformation for the entire neighborhood or trick-or-treaters all Halloween night. <laughs> Now that the demos are out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start converting them over to Ghost. So first off, we got the Try Me button and we got that actually attached here. What we're doing for all the attachments today is we're using this Gorilla Mounting Putty. Never used this in my life, I just happen to have some sitting around. Let's say indoor outdoor so i do want to get it out of the sun um, regardless because this is a store in a cool place um so it's 85 degrees let's be 90 today so we've already added off camera the ghost logo to his guitar probably be covered for the most of the time for his cloak uh, but just for the sake of the video uh, we're going to go ahead and uncover that and kind of show it so now we want to start working on his face and adding these eyeballs 
All these are removable. That's why we kind of use the, the chemical we're using. So now we're going to get his eyes, start fitting them on like this. So let me go ahead and get these putty and then kind of show you with me connecting the putty. All right, so I've connected three pieces of this putty in the back. And I'm just going to fit the eyeball in. And I'm just going to press it. Try to get it to attach. All right, so we got the first eyeball on. I know it doesn't look great to look at, but remember it's going to be covered by a mask. You're only going to be able to see the eye itself. So now we're going to do the same with the other. I'm going to kind of match up that like white dot in the eye. And I'm going to kind of go over here. Again, the main goal is to have that blue light behind it so these will illuminate. All right, now our Reaper has eyeballs. Almost time for the mask. Let's go ahead and demo them with the eyeballs and let's see if they fall out or if anything crazy happens. It's cool. Huh? And now for the finishing touches, the nameless ghoul mask, which I will need two hands for. So we'll just come back and show him up there. Hopefully his eyes and everything uh, work out. Otherwise, we might have to do some sealing under there. Let's see what's going All right, on. And here he is, the guitar playing a nameless ghoul converted from the reaper. Don't forget to subscribe.